Have you ever wondered how fast a car can be on a racetrack if there are no financial limitations, no racing regulations, and the only laws engineers have to obey are the laws of physics? Porsche answered that question by creating something that exceeded their expectations. The Porsche 919 Evo. It was created based on the regular 919 Hybrid, which won 17 of 30 races it took part in between 2015 and 2017, including three back-to-back -back wins at the 24 Hours Le Mans. The rules were simple, less weight, more power, and more grip. Porsche used tires with a compound similar to the ones used in F1 qualifying sessions, which are basically the most capable tires in the world. With advanced aerodynamics, they increased the downforce of the standard 919 by 50%, while at the same time reducing drag and increasing aerodynamic efficiency by 66%. They only stopped improving the aero because they were afraid the reinforced carbon frame and suspension wouldn't be able to handle the downforce and would simply break. The result is a monster weighing 849 kilograms, which is less than a Fiat 500, and at the same time generating 5 tons of downforce at 192 miles per hour, nearly 6 times its own weight. The downforce the 919 Evo produces is so huge they had to add an additional hydraulic steering pump because a single one couldn't handle the steering, and the cockpit was close to its structural limits because of the downforce. The tires were under such extreme load that engineers had to increase the pressure to 43 PSI, which is rare for an average car, not to mention a race car. The 919 Evo is powered by the same 2-liter turbocharged V4 engine, driving the rear axle, but they increased its power from 500 to 720 horsepower, which is 360 horsepower per liter of displacement. They also increased the power of the electric motor driving the front axle from 400 to 440 horsepower, which gives a total output of 1,160 horsepower. This means the power-to-weight ratio is 1,360 horsepower per ton. For comparison, the Bugatti Chiron has 750 horsepower per ton, and F1 cars have between 900 and 1,000 horsepower per ton. The result of all this is 0 to 186 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds. Obviously, no matter which track the 919 Evo showed up on, it set a world record. For example, at Circuit de Spa in Belgium, the Evo did a lap in 1 minute and 41 seconds, beating the previous track record set by Lewis Hamilton in F1 qualifying lap by 1 second, and beating the time of the standard 919 hybrid by 12 seconds. On the Nürburgring, it did a lap in 5 minutes and 19 seconds, beating the previous record by 51 seconds, a record that also belonged to Porsche but was set in 1983, hadn't been beaten for 35 years, and was considered impossible to beat until the arrival of the 919 Evo 